Hello Dot, it's Nonna. I thought we could read the nativity play next. All those children at school getting involved, look. You can see it used to be Joseph's book. Well, it still is, I suppose. There we go, look, there's an angel there. Tracy and Sam are in their school nativity play. Their mum is helping with the costume. Tracy is one of the angels. She feels beautiful in her golden halo. She wants a magic wand, but mum says angels don't have magic wands. Sam is a shepherd. With enough stripy towels, he'll look just like the real thing. Mum is having trouble with his beard. It's made of wool and sellotape, but it won't stay on. Sam is practising his words. The saviour of the world is born. The saviour of the world is born, he says to himself. Don't worry, says Mum. It'll be all right on the night. At last, everything is ready. The audience are in their seats. Mum and Dad are sitting in the front row with Mrs Booth from next door. And backstage, everyone is feeling nervous. Now, says Mrs Miss Harvey, Nice and loud, everybody, and shepherds, don't stand in front of Mary. The curtain opens. In the day of Caesar Augustus, slow down a bit, Kate, whispers Miss Harvey. Joseph, the carpenter, and his wife, Mary, went up to Bethlehem. You're on a donkey, look. Joseph looks for somewhere to stay. No room, says the first innkeeper. Full up, says the second innkeeper. Too late, said the third innkeeper. But I'm worried about my wife. She is having a baby, says Joseph with a grin. The third innkeeper has an idea. I have a stable you can use, he says. And so Mary's baby Jesus was born in a stable. The animals gather round the baby and they begin to sing. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. Sing up, says Miss Harvey. Here come the shepherds, but where's Sam? Ah! It's all right, he's in the toilet. Tracy, the beautiful angel, stands in front of them. Fear not, she shouts. I bring you tidings of great joy. She tells the shepherds all about baby Jesus and the other angels play their recorders. Come, let us go over to Bethlehem, say the shepherds. And they gather round to look at the baby. One of the shepherds is looking at the audience and he waves. Hello, Dad. <laughs> now comes Sam's big moment. He walks to the front and his voice is clear and loud. The saviour of the world is born, he tells the audience. Lovely, says Mrs Booth. There's a noise at the back of the hall. Wise men are coming from the east but the door won't open. One of the dads lets them in. Slowly, they walk up to the stage and the wise men look serious, but their camel is having trouble climbing up the steps. Where is he who is born to be king? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him, says the wise man with the bath salts. Joseph points. The wise men lay their gifts by the manger. God I give to the gold I give to the infant king. Frankincense the gift I bring. Myrrh is mine, so let us sing our joyful Christmas praises ring. So Joseph and Mary, the innkeepers, the shepherds, the angel, the wise men, the camel, the donkey, the sheep and the cow all sing together. Join in, everybody, says Miss Harvey. Mr Bryant, the caretaker, switches on the overhead projector and up come the words. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. 
peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies, with the angelic host proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. And there we are, there we are the children, and the donkey of course, and the camel. <laughs> what a lovely nativity play they put on. Bye bye Dorothy, see you tomorrow. <laughs>